Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to fix this common DLL error. It happens many times when you install a new game and you try to play. This box came up and you think, what? What should I do now? Okay, so there are um, three possible solutions to that. The first one is um, most useful and uh, you need to download um, DirectX uh, from Microsoft uh, to fulfill your DLLs in Windows. So, um, I post every link into the description so uh, you can easily go there, open your browser. Um, okay, please wait, five, four, Three to one. Skip out. Okay. Here you probably uh, get a download text on this button. You you leave unchecked uh, this box and continue. Okay. Let's proceed. Download. Okay. So once it's downloaded, it's on your desktop and you just uh, proceed next. Okay, and here uncheck this box because we don't want any scam like Bing Bar Tools and other stuff. Okay. Proceed next. It takes a while, usually it's not more than, I don't know, 30 seconds. Okay, finish. And now your game should, uh, should uh, start up correctly, but sometimes uh, you still got this error. Uh, D3DX941DL is missing, is still missing. So mm, the second way to fix it is to grab it from here. Okay, I post it here. Oh, sorry. Okay. On Mediafire, it's direct download of this certain uh, DLL file. Sometimes uh, you, in this error, you have to download and uh, another files like I don't know uh, d3dx9 uh, 26 27 38 uh, fer uh, 32 42 and others in this case uh, in as you, I took a screenshot of football manager and uh, I don't have 41 so why so when you finally got it it's here downloaded uh, you grab it, copy. Now you go to your main hard drive when your Windows is installed. Then Windows uh, System32 and just paste it. I already have it, but you probably won't. So just uh, paste it here. Proceed. Okay. Okay. And now it's nice. Now your game should start up correctly. As I said before, uh, there is a third way if it's not enough to install DirectX or copy this uh, file uh, to Windows folder. You can also uh, try to copy and uh, go to your game. Uh, I'll I go to, I don't know, maybe FIFA 14. Okay, and in the folder when it's uh, execu executable file of your game, for example, uh, FIFA.exe, you paste this file here. And now the game should start up correctly. Okay, thanks for watching. That's it.